Welcome to HTML Tutorials. This is lesson number 27. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you guys how to send a web form to a given email address. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have the previous document open from the previous tutorial. And once you have that open, I want you to look for the opening form tag within your HTML document. And once you find that, we're going to click towards the end of that text that says form. And we're going to hit the spacebar key a couple times so that we can create some space between that and the word form. So once you have a little bit of space between the word form and the ending angle bracket, let's go ahead and write uh, an HTML attribute. In this case, I'm going to write action equals, and then in capital letters, I'm going to write mail to, and then colon, and then I'm going to write the email address that I want to send this web form to. In this case, I'm going to write contact at template.com and we're going to put that in quotes. So that's our first HTML attribute. In this case, the name is action and the value is mail to colon and then the email address that you want to send the web form to. So let's go ahead and hit the spacebar key and this time we're going to write another HTML attribute and it's going to be written as method equals post. And this is basically just saying that we're going to post the information in the web form to the email address that we just defined. So let's go ahead and hit the spacebar key again. And this time we're going to write encode or E-N-C-T-Y-P-E. That's short for encode type. And then write equals text forward slash plain. And we're going to put that in quotes. So that is all of the HTML attributes that we need in order to send this web form to the email address that we defined. The encode type is just saying that the type of information that we're going to submit is just plain text. Okay, so go ahead and actually bring in that ending angle bracket uh, so that everything is close together like I just did on screen there. So once you have something similar to what you see on my screen, go ahead and hit Control S and we're going to go to our HTML document and open it in our web browser. Now you'll notice that nothing looks different about our web form. It looks exactly the same except for this time when we enter our information in and submit it to the email address it should bring up our email program so I'm going to enter in password as the password and then I'm going to enter in mail as the gender and then I'm going to select the Roland Phantom X8 keyboard and then I'm going to select the search engine and then I'm going to enter this is a comments and after you enter all that information in let's go ahead and hit send form and you'll notice that it brings up my email system. Now keep in mind uh, with this particular method if the person uh, filling out that web form does not have a desktop email client they're not going to be able to um, send this email until they set that up so that is the disadvantage of using this method is that the person sending the email uh, to you will have to have a desktop client and not everyone knows how to set that up but nonetheless if you look at the the contents of our email you'll see that it says user login name equals Joe and if you remember some some of the previous tutorials this looks very familiar I showed you this in the address bar uh, if you look at the password part it says PWD equals password and if you remember from the previous tutorials you, that should be very familiar to you and then gender equals mail keyboard equals Roland Phantom X8 and so on so that's the way that this information will be translated when you send it via email if you place your cursor over the the name of the person you're sending the email to, you'll notice that it reveals the email address that we set up in our HTML document, in this case contact at exartemplate.com and that's who the person's uh, email address is going to go to. So nonetheless that is how you set up the system to send out an email via your web form. I hope that this video was helpful and if it was don't forget to embed, comment, share, and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos on HTML. Have a great day.